Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know that I said I was going to do this so quite a while ago. It's just taking me this long to get out here. But um, if you remember, or if you didn't see it, I wanted to go out on a day where there was as little illumination as possible so that I can capture it through a Photonis Echo tube, which is what I have. So to reiterate, the night vision device that I have is a Nocturne Industries Tonto, which is a PVS-14 variant, and it has the Photonis Echo 4G tube in it. Now, the, this one in particular has a 50, uh, 2254 FOM rating, so it's a pretty high spec um, tube. It was the highest spec tube that I could pay for, or that was actually offered. Um, now, I know that there's been some debate or at least it's been stated that with the photonis echo tubes you tend to lose extreme low light visibility compared to the l3 harris uh the air l3 gen 3 tubes the unfilmed gen 3 tubes i'm not exactly sure what photonis echo tubes are classified as I would say Gen 2 Plus is probably the most, the more appropriate one, even though I think it's closer, uh, closer to a Gen 3 than it is to a Gen 2. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my surroundings here. I am in the mountains of Northeast PA. Uh, I am probably about five or six miles from the nearest town, and I'm up pretty high. I'm actually towards the top of the mountain here you'll see some flashing every now and again that is from the radio tower that's behind us so the only illumination that we're going to get up here that's artificial is the red bulb that's like 150 feet high uh 200 feet high or whatever it is on the radio tower um, which i would say is probably about 100 yards behind us or at least behind the camera so with that being said, let me go ahead and do this. I'll show you my surroundings. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I have my black and white onyx filter also by Nocturne. I'll throw that on the tube and then you can see what it looks like in extreme low light with that, that uh, filter on it. So without further ado, let me get behind the camera and I will show you my surroundings. All right, so I am behind the camera now. I'm gonna go ahead and focus this so you can see. There we go. So this is as clear as I'm gonna get it through the camera. Um, the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you're never gonna see it exactly the way you're gonna see it to the naked eye it's just there's too many lenses involved the phone is trying to compensate even though i have it in manual mode no no matter what i do it's never going to be 100 percent identical but this is as close as it's going to get the color and tone is pretty damn close uh, with this new phone so uh, let me go ahead and i am going to pan to my right here you'll see let me move over here you'll see down the road this is an access road for the state game lands that I'm at and as you can see let me mess with the focus a little bit more It is pretty clear. You can see quite a bit here. Come back around here. Loosen this handle up so I could pan a little bit easier up and down. So back in to this area. Now, 
it is a wall of blackness. I have my oldest son with me and he can verify for you how absolutely dark it is right now. So let's see if I can capture where the wall that is the, the light tower up there. It's a red red light. Real dim so it's not producing a whole lot of light. But you can see again back down this axis road. Continue to turn around. And back to where we began. So if you look straight up, you'll see I tried to get under the tree coverage as much as possible and let the canopy drown out whatever starlight was out. But if you're wondering, today is July 30th, 2022. It is a waxing crescent moon phase with approximately 3% illumination from the moon. The moon is not out right now as it is falling behind the um, the horizon but there is no cloud coverage whatsoever it is I think less than 10% cloud cloud they called for tonight but there's nothing in the sky right now so what I'm going to do is as you've seen here there goes some of the ground right there let me focus that in see right there you see some of that along the edge of this road right here so well, let me go ahead and I am going to move to another location so we can see what the sky looks like a little bit more of an open area in this dark environment and then I will tie back in so let me go ahead and I will cut in a second all right so we are in a different spot here we no longer have the flash from the light tower or the uh, uh, the radio tower flashing so right now we've gotten to a part of the, the state game lands here that opens up for the uh, power lines so you'll see that in a second when I uh, when I show you and I pan around but again we're in a more open area there is zero zero moonlight out right now the only thing that we have is starlight so it's this is about as dark as it's going to get um, even with a new moon where you have no moon this is this is gonna be as dark as it's gonna get the only time I'd say to get a little bit darker is if you have complete cloud coverage because the storm is running in and I'm talking like thick clouds uh, but other than that the likelihood you're gonna pretty much be in that type of a situation is pretty pretty rare so anyway let me go ahead and get behind the camera and I can pan around and show you everything that's going on all right so behind the camera now and let me change the focus here There we go. So, let's pan to my left. Let's see some foliage here, some thick vegetation, and then pan around. There's the road that we walked in from, Access Road, and then this is. back 180 degrees from where I was at you see star coverage which I'll, sh I'll show again but let me see if I can focus it for this one right here it almost looks like a moon but it's not so that's as clear as I'm gonna get it right now that is a star it's a very bright star. It's coming across like it's a moon here on the camera, but it's not. 
So continuing on, a bunch of power lines. You may hear the buzzing from them, but there goes more. And then back where we started. So I'm gonna orient this straight up and that way you can see the star coverage here. Of course, I'm right underneath a power line. All right, so let me move this and then I will cut back in. All right, so I moved a little bit out of the way. It's probably gonna seem a little bit crooked and it is because I am on somewhat of a hill, but let's go ahead and move directly up. And that is the night sky let me lock this in so it doesn't move on me there we go and then let me see if i could adjust the clarity here right there all right and there you go that is the night sky Absolutely stunning. So, now that we've gotten some coverage of that, let me go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to throw on the Onyx filter and then tie back in. So, here we go. Alright, so this is with the Onyx filter. Now, it looks a little darker around the edges through the phone than it does to, to the naked eye looking through the PBS 14 or the, the Tonto. But um, yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot darker. And like I said, it's coming across a lot darker through the video, through the, through the phone than it does to the naked eye, but that's what it looks like. So, so turn back. Oh, get some more footage of the stars real quick. Get those damn power lines out of there. Here you go. So, let me see if there's something that I can change on a camera real quick and I will cut back in if I can make the image look a little closer to what I'm seeing through the, through the uh, tube. Alright so I was going to see if there's any type of setting I could change that would brighten up the image a little bit to look closer to what it is that I see through the naked eye but unfortunately there's none. But if it's this dark, you're probably not going to see much down under the canopy with the Onyx filter. But let me go ahead and I'll pause this right here and then I'll cut back in when we get underneath this canopy down the road. So. Alright, so I'm in another darker area. Um, not as much ambient starlight that's able to filter in because of the uh, my surroundings, the foliage around me. Uh, I am in an area where the canopy is somewhat removed, but you still can't see. Uh, you just couldn't make anything out with that Onyx filter, at least not through the phone. It was a little bit better to the naked eye, but honestly, that Onyx filter would be something that we, that I would consider better use for an area where you're going to have a lot more artificial light or in the case of a full moon having that ambient light so uh, unfortunately I couldn't get that fit that fo uh, footage for you because it just would have been all black but anyway this is the Photonis Echo 4G tube again farm rating is 2254 and we are in extreme low light scenario here so 
Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave them down below as well. Um, and I'd love to hear your feedback. So, I'll catch you in the next one.